Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors and we are live. This is Thursday's live stream, June the 9th, 2022. I'm at the computer changing the thumbnail. I'll be right in front of the camera and we will get ready to go for today's gameplay. We're going to be playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. And we're going to be doing a bison hunt. Plains Buffalo on the Silver Peaks Ridge map. A rendition of Colorado. I have the thumbnail changed. And we're ready to go. Okay. So let me get in front of the camera here. And we'll start the hunt. Hello Art, Chad, good to see you, thank you for coming in, y'all don't take long to get in here, I didn't even have time to get the thumbnail changed, okay, this is a uh, Silver Peaks Ridge, it's a rendition of the Colorado Rocky Mountains, and we're going to hunt bison today, let me show you the map, and where we're at, Have any luck, Chad? Okay. This is a big reserve. That's the whole reserve. And where we're concentrated at is right here in this vicinity here. And uh, this is all bison country up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to um, start out at this outpost over here and I'm going to fast travel there now and then I'm doing this because I want to walk this whole stretch today and uh, hopefully we can find the herd so let's fast travel over here now and then we'll start walking two <coughs> Okay. Now this is all bison country right through here. In fact, this whole area right here is bison's. Actually, in pink years, I did some shooting up here in the last stream. Hello, Big Slim. Thank you for coming in. So this this portion right here is where I did the stream on Tuesday, and we killed some buffalo and various animals. So what I want to do is I want to walk uh, this direction right here we're just gonna head on up put a waypoint down we're gonna head on up that way the rifle that we're using today let me show you that real quick it's gonna be the single shot seven millimeter I had discussed about doing a muzzle loader uh, hunt and I figured out that the muzzle loader only goes up to ethical eight Buffaloes are nine, so we need a little bit bigger gun. Hello, Steve. We also have the 22 in just case we run into a turkey. So, let's uh, make sure we're loaded up. We are. Get ready to go. We're just going to walk in glass today. These buffaloes usually are in a herd. Uh... So once we find the herd, if we find the herd, uh, then we're going to be able to in fact there's our first victim right there. He's standing out there alone. That didn't take long did it? Let's see if I can get an angle on him. I need, need a little bit bigger, a little bit better broadside shot. He's eating out here. So we're going to try to get an angle on this buffalo and post a shot on him. Uh, he knows I'm here now. 
Oh. I want to stand up here and see if I can get a, a sight on him. He may have moved on us. I believe he did move on us. <clears throat> Me trying to get an angle on him, I might have spooked him. We'll walk on up a little ways and see. That's just the first one today, so that's just a single. His buffalo will charge you. Uh, I put out a video yesterday of uh, uh it actually dropped on Tuesday. Uh he's right there. And of course I'm in the tall grass and can't see him, so let's see if we can see him if we stand up. Nope. We're gonna have to try to get an angle on this dude. I uh <clears throat> Stated I put out a video. I did not. I made a video. And it's going to drop sometime here shortly. Out of the last stream where I got charged. Uh, it's a pretty nice video. I was able to put the buffalo down. I know some of you were probably here on Tuesday and saw that stream. And the wind is blowing in his favor, so we may not be able to get on this one. We're going to try it, though. He's down on the side of the hill. That's going to be a problem for me to get close enough to see him. Get a shot on him. Uh, and one thing I like doing about live streams is I was able to cut three videos out of that stream I did on Tuesday. Three little short videos, kind of highlight thing. And, and uh, it's always a good thing to get some extra footage. It gets clicks and it helps promote the channel without having to watch a whole live. And People sometimes they get interested in a short video and they want to attend your live, so it helps. Uh, there he is. Okay. We're going to have to frontal shot this dude because I can't. If I try to get any closer, he's he's already mad. I'm going to shoot him in the head because of where he's standing. Well, no, I'm not either because he ain't going to hold still. Figures. <clears throat> and he went on. <laughs> God. It happens. All right, we'll just continue on. I wanted to make a good shot. It just didn't happen there. That's just the first one. Though. We'll see some more. Anyway, I like doing the lives because I can, you know, kind of make short videos channel and, and uh, I'm not, uh, I don't do YouTube to, to try to be monetized or I'm not looking to get monetized. I have no plans to ever fill out monetization papers. Uh, I do YouTube for fun. I don't want it to become uh, a money thing for me. I, that's not why I started doing it. So I could care less about being monetized. I'd just like to have a good crowd to, you know, make some friends. That's what it's about for me, not being monetized. Uh, 
that buffalo still up there we, we're walking this way anyway so we're just gonna continue on hopefully we'll run into him what's going on CVA I seen your video you put out the other day I go through in the morning and throughout the day once or twice and look at everybody's uh, videos that's on my subscription list and that buffalo is right here now this sucker may charge me uh, he's mad and I can't see him but he knows I'm here that is a recipe for disaster let me get this scope off this gun uh, but I go through and I watch, uh, save to the watch list, everybody's videos that I want to watch, and, and, uh, usually throughout the day I watch them while I'm on the computer, or after I lay down to rest at night I'll watch a few, I've got quite a few videos that I like to watch at night, and, But I like to watch movies too. Uh, I'm kind of a movie fan. Uh, oh, I love Netflix. I don't watch a whole lot of TV anymore, really. I watch a little, a few shows. Other than that, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Uh, used to, used to live to watch sports. I keep pushing that buffalo on back. He's He's right there. But the wind is just not in my favor. And each time I move, he matches my movement. We're gonna try to get an angle on him. We've been trying to shoot this buffalo for 12 minutes now. <sighs> I watch a little sports, little things like that. Let me put a little cover sand on and see if I can help me a little. Used to be a lot bigger sports uh, buff than I am now. Getting involved in the catfish community and the, and the YouTube and, and watching the crappie anglers that I like to watch. I just don't have time for uh, there he is let's see if I can get a shot on him That was behind the shoulder, so we'll see if it was good enough. Um, sometimes when you shoot them at an angle like that, you don't get penetration in the ribs, and it's a wound shot, and you have to track them a while. Uh, we'll see. I try to uh, spread the love and watch as many people as I can and uh, grateful for everybody's support. I try to return the favor. <clears throat> uh, there's a blood spot up here, but it's not a big one. So, probably didn't get a a great penetration on that. Yeah, it's gonna be a minute. I watch um there's a deer out here somewhere. 
mule deer. I watch, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people, and I, like I said, I try to support them as they have supported me. A lot of good people out there with a lot of good content, and I try to spread the love around as much as I can. Uh, believe it or not, I do have a few other things to do besides YouTube, so I, I can't stay on it 24 hours a day, but uh, I do the best I can do. That buffalo, I did not make a good shot. That's why I hate taking an angle shot. If that had been a perfectly broadside shot or a brain shot, I wouldn't be walking this far. But we'll continue on. Um, sometimes they stop bleeding. Sometimes you don't get them. So if we don't, we don't. If we do, we do. But uh, There's a... A... Uh, Mule deer up here, so. We're heading in this general direction anyway today. So. Well, it's time for gaming later, Chad. You fish when you can fish. We're gonna get back to fishing. When the, oh, there's that buffalo again. When a wife gets off her trip, she got coming up here. I may get charged too. This ain't gonna be good. Let me get this scope off here. That may be the buffalo that I already wounded. And here he comes. <laughs> That's not good. He's going to make another run at me. I missed. I'm probably going to be in serious trouble here. I hit him in. That's another shot. Wow. <laughs> that got a little hairy, didn't he? These buffalo are hard to kill. Mm-hmm. That's what I say. That's because I wounded him. That's... See this blood spot here? See the difference of that blood spot and the one back there? That last shot was a broad shot shot. Finished him off. Yeah. He was. We got him. He got ugly, but we got him. <clears throat> Just the bronze. Okay. Let's sort of get back on the track here now. <clears throat> I got charged the other day, and... Luckily, I had a, yeah, luckily I had a shotgun on me, and I was, wasn't going to shoot a buffalo. It's not really ethical to shoot them with that. You do get the cash, but you don't get the XP points. But somebody in the chat wanted me to shoot him, so I did. And I made a good broadside shot, but he still charged. I shot him six times on the last shot he went down as he was probably for me to that tree right there. So he was close. The seven millimeter is only a single shot, but we got the job done though. For those of you that may be wondering, uh, that knew I was under the weather, I'm feeling better. I feel 100%. Back to 100% now. Uh, 
I got up this morning <laughs> and uh, took a test. I'm still positive, uh, but it's only been 10 days, so hopefully in the next couple of days that'll clear. But I don't have any symptoms now, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, the. Oh, look at here. Walked right up on him, didn't he know he was even there? Yeah, it's gonna get ugly. Yeah, I know. You're mad. Let me give you something else to be mad about. Here he comes. Oh, Lord, I got more than one charge in me. It's gonna be bad, folks. I'm gonna end up getting killed right here. You watch. That's coming. <laughs> I is not good. It's like shooting an army tank. I got two. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pop a ten here real quick, folks. And take a first aid kit. Get that out. If I take one more hit like that, I'm done. I have to go back to camp. Oh, well, that's. Well, that's me too, Art. Uh, I gotta go track out of the buffalo dam, but I need I need to get a first aid kit out. If I can find a place to get it, come on now. Never wanna let you put a. Hell, that's gonna have to wait. Tell y'all something, this ain't going according to plan here, folks. Mm, look at this mess. <clears throat> we got a little action going on here, folks. I just dropped him graveyard dead. He's sliding down the mountain. That's a hard shot. That's why I killed him. It's easy. That's a perfect hard shot. Get up here and try to pop this tent again because I need to. Yeah. You know, that's the way this game is, though. You know, uh, one day you hunting, you know, and, and it's just. Alright, let me. Let me get the first aid kit out here. You know, one day you're uh, doing one of these streams and it's kind of slow and the uh, the next day, you know, it's, it's a fast pace. You can't hardly get them all. That's just the way it is. All right. Let me remove this. And add this. <clears throat> but that's the way it is, though. Uh, 
Okay, now I'll be able to use this now and get healthy again. Restored to good health. But that's the way these streams are. You know, you 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 uh, have a good hunting day, just like I guess it's just like hunting. You have a good day, and you have days it's not so great. Uh, at least today seems to be pretty hot, so we hopefully we can keep it going in that direction. I'm trying to get some money built up here, uh, so I've been kind of hunting quite a bit. I think I'm up to seventy thousand dollars now. No, sixty-six. Yeah, it was a dog biscuit. Uh, there's a dog in the game. Uh, cracking dog, and I use it from time to time. Uh, I'll have to get the dog out for one of these days for y'all. So we're going to head over up here around this uh, lake up here. I've been trying to build a bunny situation up. The new map's coming out. I'm going to have to buy some decoys and some duck blinds and Wolf five collars. <clears throat> I want to be able to buy all that stuff, in-game money, where I can get everything I need. We're going to do a duck stream one of these days. Now, I've been watching expansive world streams, and that's people that make this game. And uh, the duck hunting is very interesting. Uh, and that's going to be for an extremely fast-paced, action-packed live. Uh, I just got to do my part and hit the ducks. But There's a bear track. We're going to ease open the south side of this cliff over here and peer down in this lake. And then we're going to see if there's anything here. If there's not, we're going to keep walking. we got a few buffalo done. We're going to continue to hunt them. But if we see a couple of deer or pronghorns, we're going to take those as well for the money. Right. I have plans. To get an Xbox, I'm trying to figure out all the ins and outs of it yet. I want to trees. Uh, I believe you can uh, stream through StreamYard with an Xbox uh, through the computer now I may have to have a new computer but I'm going to get one of those anyway uh, if that is the case and I start streaming on Xbox a little bit it won't be all the time but I should be able to bring a guest up on the panel oh, that'd be a kind of fun feature oh Lisa Got there. Oh, we're gonna scour this lake, and we're gonna get the step in the thing. Nothing here. I don't see nothing. Nope. Alright. 
and we'll get back on the trail. Um, what is that? That's a rock. You see things in this game, I swear you do. Uh, I want to remind everybody about the good shows that's going to be on that. I always do a Thursday reminder. The bait shop at 7 Central. And contrary to Chad's opinion, Central time is God's time. <laughs> oh, looky here. Here's a deer. Ooh, look at there. I reckon he'll stop long enough for me to pop him. Come on. He gonna run. You running joker. There's another one right there. It's the only bad thing about these scopes. They get so tuned in to uh, you got them zoomed out so far you can't see anything. That's a missed opportunity. I probably should have open sided him. Uh, Chad and the bait shop. Where's the, where's the one? We'll just go ahead and shoot him right now. That's that millimeter do a job on him. He's not going very far. He's already down. Panfish Nation tonight at 8. And then Miss Jody's Flathead Challenge tonight at 9. Nobody. Uh, I guess you'll know what I'll be doing tonight. I'm always watching those shows on Thursday night. I don't <clears throat> always get in the chat because a lot of time it's time for me to get out of this wheelchair for the day. Sitting in it 10-12 hours a day. I'm done. But I'm always watching. I hang around and pick on Chad a little bit during his show or Freddy. Say hi to Lyle and Mark. Now and then I'll pop in on Jody's in the chat. Usually it's my wife typing for me. Because I'm already laying down. But I always watch. They have a great show. Art says he'll be watching. I just love their shows. I do such a great job and a lot of fun. Very family friendly. I'm eternally grateful for the fact that when I what in the world is that? That's a noise making dude. Oh, that's a prong horn. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'm grateful that that I had the experience of watching uh, some good people on YouTube uh, that, you know, run a good, clean channel uh, before I decided to do YouTube. Because I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the no, the do's and the don'ts and how you should uh, conduct yourself and behave and and uh, I was fortunate to uh, be able to watch good people do their thing and I tried to carry that over to my channel uh, there's some pronghorn out there <clears throat> This 7mm does have a very long reach. So. There's one looking at me. That may be an albino. No, it's not. I'll get a quick shot on this one here. 
get out behind the grass. Whole herd of them out there. There's a buck. Ah, come on. <clears throat> they're either going to come around this corner or they're going to go around the other way to a zone. So I'm going to wait and see if they walk this way. If they don't, then I'll walk up that way and try to get an angle on them. Yeah. I knew what you meant. They should walk out here in front of me. If they're going this way. They may have went off that way. But. We'll see. If they did, I'll ease over that way so I can't get a shot. We'll give them a few more seconds. Okay, let's go. Let's go look. I'm going to try to get the angle on them here. I know they didn't walk in the water, so they got to be somewhere right here. Keep working around this brush to see if I can locate them. Virtually impossible with a control to get a um, follow-up shot. Uh, straight ahead towards the water. You mean here? Well, they're either on the other side of this embankment, or they're not there because I can't see them. So we're going to creep up here and look. And I've got the scope off of it just in case I walk up on one and get a quick aim. that come from? I must be blind as a bat. I don't see him.
which tree? There's 400 trees out here. <laughs> you talking about this way? Down past the tree. I don't know how. To the left tree by the water. Behind me. You talking about right here? I got to be blind, Art. How you see all that stuff? Oh. Art, I want to know how in the world that you see that. That is amazing to me that you could even see that. Well, let's take one. We got him. Thanks to Art again. Unfortunately, it's only a single shot, so we only got to one, but we did get him. I don't see how you see that. I, I didn't even see him. And I'm looking for him. That's a good shot. I put a good shot on him. These pronghorns are not easy to hunt. They're kind of slick and cunning. Nice little pronghorn. Uh, that seven millimeter does the job, doesn't it? Mercy. Pretty animal. Okay. <clears throat> Back on the trail now. <clears throat> Y'all give me just a minute. I'll be right back. I need to take a Mike's Fish at Home break. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Call.
All right, let's get back on the walk here and see if we can locate. This is a <clears throat> extremely well-built map. Uh, They did a good job on this map. Now the antelope may come back in this location, so I'm just going to wait a minute and see what happens here. There's an animal way over there. Some kind of deer. Uh, they did a good job when they put this map together. And the previous maps that they put out are kind of crowded in my opinion. Too much brush and foliage. Well, that was one of the uh, one of the kind of the chief complaints of the community. Oh, let's get back on the walk. It was a lot of brush and really hard to hunt. Each time they built one of these maps, so they got a little better at it. Uh, Expansive Worlds is a small company. They're not a very big company. So each time they built a map, they've got a little better at it. I have seen some of the pictures of the new map. Uh, it may be their best work yet. They've did a good job on making sure that it's not desert, but uh, looking or bare, but making sure you got a, a good amount of opportunities for shooting lanes and things. Now, you know, shooting lanes is a big part of uh, hunting when you're setting up a hunting area and uh, a lot of people go in and they trim things down and they clean things up so they've got shooting lanes for where they think the game's gonna be coming out uh, I'm gonna walk on up here now and uh, if you don't have those things, you know, and it's too brushy, you mess a lot of game. But in the new Fend and uh, River Tulico Finland map, they've done a fabulous job of uh, addressing some of those problems. And they're going to do a lot of fixes too, so. They have a weekly stream. I usually watch it. It's usually an hour or two hours long. <clears throat> My goal is to get back out and do a little more fishing here. But. Somebody's blowing the horn. That sound like it's over here somewhere, but and you run into these herds of these buffaloes and then you don't see some for a while. Anybody uh, in here been fishing? Art, have you been fishing? I know Chad went today. Got to peer in on that a little bit. I wasn't in the chat, but I did peer in on it.
there's no telling how many animals that we never see on this game. Scare them off or whatever. Aaron from Catfish Regulators sent me some of his stats the other day. He's got some pretty impressive stats. I gotta tell you. Uh, keep stats of everything that you do. And he's got some pretty impressive stats. He has a, he has got a 500 yard shot. 500 yards. I was like, and I didn't even see it at first. I was too busy looking at his percentage scores. Uh, I think my handgun percentage could probably be a little higher than his, but other than that, he's He's probably got the hammer on me, but he pointed that 500-yard shot out to me, and I, I went back and looked at those stat sheet, and I'm like, wow. I don't even think that, I don't even think there's a gun on this game that's rated for more than 200 yards. You're talking about a 500-yard shot. That's a long way. I don't think I've ever seen anybody make a 500 yard shot on this game. That's something you need to have on video. That's sweet. He must have been sitting on top of a mountain somewhere and shot that. <clears throat> We're just kind of creeping along here. I'm kind of going slow and in the crowd's position. <clears throat> but 500 yards is a ridiculous shot. And that's ridiculous. I should ask him which gun he used for that 500 yard shot. If he remembers. So many guns on this game. There's a buffalo to my left. I heard that. All right, let's get the let's get the big boy ready here, just in case we get a look at him. I'm gonna creep around these trees and hopefully I can see him. There's a stand up here. I've hunted this stand before. Oh. <clears throat> There's the herd. And I mean the herd. And there's a mule deer. And some elk. <clears throat> Creep in a little bit here now. I'm going to get up here and try to glass a little bit and figure out which animal is the biggest. 
So we got one buffalo that's close. Real close. I gotta be ready. I hope he don't charge. Drop an elk. Okay. We shall do that. Drop an elk, God says. Do I have hand grenades? No. Let's see which one will shoot art. Let me see which one's the biggest. That buffalo is running for the hills. Good. I'm glad you're running. I'm going to shoot that big male right there. I'm going to get position here. That's a three very easy, so that's a nice looking bull. Let's see, that's going to be 206 yards. I had to look through my bifocals to see it. We can make that shot. Let me crouch to make it dope. Not on a hold, just a touch high. Right behind the front shoulder. Well, folks, he did. That was a good shot. <clears throat> and then Buffalo still there. Can we get a twofer? That's a one. The back one's a one. That's a one. These are small. That's 325 yards right there. I'm going to try it. Because I want to see what this gun can do. Little up. Oh, Millie really turned on me. You son of a gun. Let's wait till he turns broadside again. Make him bacon. I need a broadside shot. what I need. So I'm going to wait till one of them turn broadside. What's this? I stoves. Y'all stand still. <clears throat> Come on, give me a broadside shot. That's semi broadside. I prefer not to make that. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. We're going to shoot this one right here. Yep. <laughs> Got one laying down up here. I may be able to shoot that one. Come on. They quit fighting out there. I get a shot on one of them. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna shoot that buffalo. If I can get him to stand broadside, they fix and leave. I gotta hurry up. Let's 
let's see. That may have been a little low, folks. We're going to try to shoot this elk. If he'll stand still. Well, no. We're going to shoot this buffalo that's running right at me. It's going to get ugly quick. He's going to charge. He's trying to charge. Well, I might put him down. He was running at me for sure. Well, I just shot a buffalo and an elk. Don, how are you? Now, somewhere right in here is going to be a, a body. What gun am I? Yeah, I guess that was a question you was asking, wasn't you? Seven mil. Seven millimeter. Today. <laughs> uh, I seen your message, Danny. Uh, I replied to it, yeah. That, he did. He scared me, and that, that's true. That, that sucker scared me to death. Uh, I run right up on him, and I was talking to everybody in chat, and I run right up on him, and he hollered. And I literally, if you go back and watch it, I jumped. There's one buffalo. That's actually the one I, that's two shots in him, so that's actually the one I shot. Up on the hill, and he started running at me. So. We don't have to go worry about that. Let's go up here and get the elk. That joker did. He scared me to death. I got another one coming out, uh, Danny, that I think you'll get a kick out of. That's a good looking elk here. Is that an albino? No, just a light gray. Good looking elk. I'm making some money today, folks. It's been like a duck gallery today. Okay, let's see where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to appear this little bitty. Little bitty lake. He, he did, didn't he? Yeah. He was light gray. If he'd been an albino, I'd have taxidermed him, but. Shot a pie ball not too long ago on the live. He's in the trophy lodge, and there's a short video of that on my YouTube. But I have another funny video coming out that I put together. I'm probably going to release it. Ahead of some other stuff that I had because it's kind of fun. I think everybody will enjoy it. It's going to be entitled Suicide Elk. You're not going to believe it when you see it. If you wasn't here to see the live, you'll, you'll enjoy it. There's a buffalo up here, so we're going to take our time and try to collect our money get another shot or two we shot quite a few animals to be only an hour in I'm 
glad everybody's come to join me for a little while. It always makes me feel good to see you. And, uh, and tonight, we're going to watch the good shows. And guess what I'm having for supper? Mm, I can't wait. I'm having an 8-ounce sirloin steak tonight for dinner. Courtesy of my lovely wife. Mm. Looky, looky. Ooh. Right behind the shoulder here. I think I heard him drop. I think that's what that was. Um, but there may be another one up here too. Now you shoot one of these buffalo and the other ones will charge. Yeah, he's down right there. Hey, this has been an awesome hunt, folks. I gotta tell you. It's not like this all the time. Yeah, we're gonna order steaks tonight. Have them delivered. Yeah, we have a little, I bet you know how to fix them good, don't you? I, we have a little local place up here called the Landmark Grill. And I have never, listen, they got a, they got quite a big menu. And I have never had anything from that place that was not spot on good food. It's family owned and uh, they have got the best food uh, from anywhere from steaks to, you know, to uh, Mexican food. They've got the best food. This is, uh, no, it's not. It's, uh, I can't remember what they call it. And there's some more buffalo. Uh, they don't actually call it a Thompson rifle. Uh, yes. They, uh, because of, uh, well, they'd have to get, I'm going to get over here and crawl down on this road and try to get a shot at one of these guys. They'd have to get permission from Thompson, but it is patterned after a Thompson. Uh, now I should be able to get a shot right here. We're going to. If I didn't spook them. Did I spook them? No. There they are. Okay, so let me see which one's the biggest now. Out of the bunch. That is a one. That's a three easy right there. That's the one I want to shoot. I may have to brain shoot this one here, folks. I'm going to tell you what, folks. That fat boy can shoot that seven mil. <laughs> Mercy. I like it. They, they fix the New York strip up there too. It's good. I'm going to tell y'all something. That's a pretty good shot. 
A brain shot is not easy to make. I'm not hurrying to get up here because he ain't going nowhere. And I might see something else. See, I do see something else already. What is that? Good grief, look at that. That's the... That's the herd. Now, if we can stay on this herd, we might be able to get two or three more. That's a one. Here's where you take your time and you look them over because they're going to come back. They're coming back. Well, I'm just going to get myself in position and make another shot. I've started the steak conversation now. <clears throat> now where are they going to go to? I'm going to wait here because I don't know where they're going to go. I'll see what they do and then I'll make my move. I hope they ain't all coming this way though. At the same time, that's gonna be a problem. I don't think I can run fast enough. Art says he likes to rip eyes. I'm hoping them buffalo stop. If they come across this road, I may have a problem. Yeah, they're stopping, okay. So now let's pick out the one I want to shoot. That's a small one. That's a small one. They may be all delinquents, but we're going to check. Three inch ribeye. Uh, I'm going to use this grass as cover here. Let's see what we can do here now. I'm going to brain shoot another one. I'm going to brain shoot this one right here. Uh. Two for two, folks. Now, I'm not going to rush to get down there because they may come right back. And that feeding is on. When they're eating, they're going to come back. Oh. Uh, I seen the, uh, look at all of them. Good night. I'm going to shoot this one right here, too. That was a long hit. Um, I seen the uh, picture of Art with you and your little girl. That was a nice picture y'all took. One of these is shot. That's a three easy right there. I'm gonna pluck him too. We just gonna have us a a good old killing fest going on today. You 
You want a little of it? I'll give you some of it. I'm getting charged. It's not going to be good. Still coming. I got to get this scope off here. This is going to happen fast, folks. I'm going to try to go for a headshot. Come on, one more shot. Come on. Still coming. Where'd he go? Oh, Lord. There he is. Finally killed over. <laughs> yeah, I told you that fix to get ugly, didn't I? Golly. Like shooting at a Sherman tank. Oh, they're just hard to kill. Look how many times I shot that thing. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. Now, let's go collect some bodies. Yeah, well... Uh... What I need is to go in there and get that 300 uh, rifle. I know it. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, it's dangerous business hunting these things. And if you think this is bad, you ought to see me when I hunt the Cape Buffaloes. Now, them jokers right there are some fierce dudes. But I got to tell you, I should have. I started once to bring the the 338. I did not bring the 338 because. Good to see you, Don. I appreciate you coming. Uh, because I wanted to be able to shoot a couple of antelope with it and get the uh, XP points. Uh. Uh. But I'm thinking I should have brought the 338. Forgot about them antelope. Um, they have a uh, they have a 300, uh, which is yeah the 300 wind mag. They call it the cannon, but anyway, they got a 300. And I hadn't bought it yet because it's kind of expensive. I've been trying to grind for. Duck blinds, but I think I'm gonna have to end up buying it. Uh, some of the gamers that I know use it, and I know that uh, Lady Legend uses it. And I don't, just for disclaimer purposes, I don't know Lady Legend, but personally, but she uses it. Look at here, y'all just can't get enough of me today, can you? Now he's walking away. <clears throat> she don't know who I am from Adam to Eve. But anyway, she uses it. I, I watch a lot of her stuff. Uh, she has a pretty good following. There's a black bear. Up there somewhere. Yeah, look, he's right there. He's little. Let's see if he'll present me with a shot. If he does, I'll take it. Keep coming, big boy. Keep coming. That's what I want to see right there. That's right. Just keep coming. I got him. That may have been a little far back, but I did get him. Uh, 
she's got a lot of she got a lot of supporters, a lot of followers, and I enjoy watching her. Uh, she's a she's big time, big time. I'm not looking to get that B, but <laughs> oh, Chad, he's always giving me a fit. All right, here's the other buffalo we shot. Just a silver. I know I hit that bear, so let me see if I can find the blood trail. But I, st I hit too far back. Uh -uh. All these are buffalo tracks. No. Now, am I wrong, or was that bear not right in here when I shot? Yeah. Hey, have you seen the movie yet, Chad? Now, I could have swore that bear was right in here when I shot. All I'm seeing is buffalo tracks. Let me ride up here real quick. Buffaloes. Uh, I've heard they say it's real good. White man Curtis. <clears throat> Curtis, I I see you in on screen and in chat so much. I feel like we're neighbors. I just got done watching Hog Legs before I went live. Ask him. I thought that bear was right in here when I shot, but I may have I may have missed. We'll look a few more minutes and then we're gonna get on down the trail here. Oh, yeah, have you seen the new movie, Curtis? Was it good? I heard a lot of people say it's real good. I don't know where that bear went. Okay. Let's continue on the beaten path. I'm going to go up here and unlock this, whatever this is. We've shot this area up right here. It's bright pink. My God, it ought to be for as long as it took them to make it. Mm. Oh, look. Run into the blood trail. 
Let's run up here real quick, see if we can't. Yeah, that's him. Okay, now we're on the right track. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see it. Right, well, uh, my understanding was too that, uh, that they, uh, had to do a, uh, A lot of uh, I think I, I think if I correct I think the that the uh, they had to do a lot of uh, practicing on the scenes with those planes uh, to get the actors involved. There's the bear. God, it took me long to find him. I tell you right now, the shot is too far back. Let's see why I hit. Yeah, that's way too far back. Shot him in the in the booty. That's not what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to go out like that and get shot in the backside. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see it. Uh, I'll probably watch it at home. But I don't. Uh, probably won't go to the movie theater because I don't want to have to wear a mask all the time that I'm in there. And I just got over. I'm just coming to the end of having COVID, so I'm still positive, but. My symptoms are gone, so I'm sure in a day or two I'll test negative. It's only been 10 days today. But I have no more symptoms. So, But I can tell you, I don't want this crap again. Oh yeah, yeah. They want they want twenty dollars right now to rent it at home, Curtis. I'm not doing that. You're right. It'll go down. It'll go down to six or seven bucks. I'll rent it on Voodoo. I ain't no hurry. The only time I do that is if I'm if I'm gonna buy the movie anyway, and I just pay the price to buy it. Uh, I'm a big uh, Halloween fan, big Michael Myers fan. I own every movie they've ever made. So, if I buy it, then I'll just go ahead and pay it. Every October, I have a Halloween marathon. Get me some popcorn. watch movies we're gonna ease up into this open pasture here and see if there's anything hanging around out here that's gonna be a stand up here we're not gonna build it right now Lee Evans I appreciate that Lee I really do Amy was in here the other day. I always enjoy seeing her. I appreciate you coming by. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, I meant to ask Danny Stone. If, 
I meant to ask Danny Stone if he was going to fish in Jody's deal tonight. I don't know if he's gone or not. Danny, if you're still in there, are you fishing? There's a bear up here. <clears throat> We're going to ease up here and see if we can see him. I figured Jody might stop by and get a chance to ask her. I may have to message her, ask her. It's still up in there whether you're going to get to fish or whether they're going to be fishing at all. <laughs> you got to go fishing, Danny. I got to have, I got to have a laugh tonight. I, I, I usually look at the weather to see what it's saying, but I didn't look at it today. Look, there he is. Okay. He's running. He's running. I don't believe I'm going to be able to get a shot on it. It's hard to find this scope. Yeah, he's... He's done messed me up. <clears throat> I'm going to try to see if I can get him to stop in between these trees. So I'm going to, if he comes out of here, I'm going to attempt to whistle at him. Let's see if I can get his attention. He didn't stop. Didn't slow that sucker down a bit. <clears throat> We're getting out of range now. I'm going to have to do something if I'm going to do it. Oh, there's one right up there. Look at that setting there. Eh, just let me see if I can turn you out. So much recoil on this dad burn gun, I couldn't see if I got him or not. I got him. I'm fixing to tell you all something. Old Troy is putting a hammer down today, baby. I'm just dropping everything. I need to shoot this gun a little more often. I'm kind of liking the way this dude performs. Golly, tell me about it. Looky here. He's like, uh-oh, I'd have run into a mess. He did. Okay, so I need to go down here and get this bear, but I need to mark this because I need to mark this. That's too far right. He's going to be right up there somewhere. So let me go get this one first. And then I'll go get that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I ain't going to do that, Art. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do like. I'm not going to do like Mr. John Parker. I'm not going to. Start dancing and drop my pants. Uh, I don't think my wife appreciate that too much. <laughs> oh Lord! Did y'all see Mr. John's video yesterday with him in that outfit that he had on? 
and then broke back Bob sent him that pink hat. I started once to send him an email telling him to look like Mr. Brown off of uh, the Medea movies with that loud outfit on. Uh, she might not buy me a steak or that'd be worse than getting a whooping. I, if she didn't buy me a steak, I'd hurt my feelings for sure. I wish they'd make you seven millimeter hold more bullets. Sure would be nice to have a bolt action one. There he is. Young bear. Good shot. Good long shot. Alright, let's head up here. See if we can recover this dude. Oop. This buffalo has got my attention now. I tell you what, there's more animals on this map today than I've seen in a long time. Good Lord, I heard the, the pipe and water running through the pipes and I thought I was getting charged. It scared me to death. Turn around, big boy. I don't have a shot. <laughs> Tall grass in the way. No shot. Okay. He mows it on down the trail. We're going to do the same thing. Get back up here and get this bear now. I think I need to hunt this region of the map again. This is an awesome hunt today. I made some really good long distance shots today. And this gun performs well too. You know, <clears throat> a lot of these guns on this game does not perform as well as, I think that's my body land right there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, some of these guns do not perform as well as they should, in my opinion, but uh, this 7mm is not one of them. <clears throat> and I, I, I know that that 300 is a, a great gun, and I need to buy that, but I got to get my duck set up first. I have been playing this a little every day, but I didn't want to play it yesterday because I wanted to do this stream today for y'all, and I had everything set up, and I didn't want to hunt in this region, because if I hunt in here yesterday and then start shooting a bunch of stuff, it scatters the animals, and the stream wouldn't have been as good. So... But Monday, we're going to hunt a little bit in a different reserve and try to get some points built up. When a gun costs $60,000, it takes quite a bit of chunk of money to buy it. But y'all look how this bear fell. <laughs> That's an odd way to die.
That was a good shot. Now this, this right here, this pose. I'm gonna doing this right here on purpose. I'm gonna go back later and download the stream at 142 mark, and then I will go into video editor and I will cut that part out and then I will take a picture of that and then I will go use the background tool removal and cut that bear out and then I can use him for a thumbnail like I did for the thumbnail for today's stream so that'll be a pretty cool couple of photos okay let's go here Then I want to go up here later. We got a little time left. Uh -uh. So I'll go cut that and save a picture of it and then take the black background out of it and it'll be just the bear sitting there. Use it on the thumbnail. Speaking of bears. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get out of this tree over here and see if I can't call that dude out of there. Oh, I don't want to lay down. Right here I'm hidden. So, let's get the scope off this gun because this will probably be close quarters combat. Go to the bear call, if I can find it. There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't call him in now. I am hid right here and it's an icon on the screen that shows me if I'm visible or camouflaged. I am totally camouflaged here. So we're gonna try to call him in. But the wind is not in my favor either. Use a little cover scent. Let's see if we can't get him to come in. Let's we'll spend a few minutes on this. If we don't get him, we don't. Not gonna worry about it. I've got the green grilly suit on, long grassy suit. Works real good. I'm going to give him another minute or two. If he don't come on, we're going to get back on the walking.
Sometimes they come in, sometimes they don't. I want to get walk up here to the end of this section here before time for us to close it out for the day. We got a little, probably about another 15 minutes to go. Hope everybody's enjoyed the stream today as much as I've enjoyed putting it on. Been a real good action packed day today. I don't think I could have asked this to turn out any better today when I planned this hunt. And sometimes they turn out good and sometimes the plan doesn't work out. But as fishermen, we all understand that. There's an antelope out there somewhere. Right there, running. Never saw him. But as fishermen, we understand that. You know, you have the best laid plan and sometimes it just don't work out. That's happened to me a couple of times, but only once. <laughs> now it's happened to me a lot. I'm telling y'all fibs now. Uh, But, that's part of it. You know, I used to fish a little few crappie tournaments when I was my younger times. And, uh, I always had a plan. And, uh, most of the time it was based upon practice. And what practice time I had gotten. Uh, I always tried to go in with a plan. Did it always work? No. Uh, but I had some sort of idea of what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, the fish changed their minds sometimes about what they want to do. Uh, but sometimes, you know, I, I went in with a plan and it worked out well. If you're fishing by a plan, you have to know when to bail on that plan. Uh, if it ain't working, you got to do something else. If, if you're competing. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's hard to give up on something that you know generally works. But doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on that day. Uh, and even sometimes when you bail on the plan, it, it don't help you much. But uh, I won a tournament one time, a crappie house tournament one time, and I totally had to bail on the plan I had. You know, what I'd been catching the fish on, they just totally were like, we don't want that. And I totally you know, had to go to something totally different. And the, the bite was tough for everybody. It was a slow day. And I went to this ugliest, oddballest looking jig. Uh, I, I can't even, boy, even come up with an idea to even make it. I think I've seen somebody made it one time and decided I'd try to make it. Even just to show it off as ugly, you know. I didn't have anything else to do. I throw that thing down there and caught a couple of fish and won it on that ugly old jig. So sometimes you have to bail on the plan. Today, I had a plan for this stream and this hunt and it worked out beautifully.
lot of good open areas up here. I want to thank y'all for coming in and your support and uh, being a friend to me and being kind to me. I enjoy everybody's company. I enjoy you doing YouTube and that's what I'm here to do is enjoy it and stay <clears throat> try to stay out of the uh, in the fun area and stay away from the negatives and we're gonna walk up here about 400 yards and then we're gonna be closing it out for the day I try to stay positive and keep it positive and this is something that I want the kids to be able to watch uh, as well uh, uh, my goal is you know to, to be able to uh, for you to be able to sit on the couch and watch it with your children and uh, be family friendly and that's what I want uh, and I appreciate y'all friendship and I'm glad it I'm glad it brightens your day Danny uh, that's uh, mission accomplished uh, and that's why I put the moose video out because I figured everybody would kind of enjoy it and there's an animal up here so far up there, I can't see what it is. Uh, if I can bring a smile to somebody's face uh, with my something I put out content-wise, it was worth the effort to put the video together. Uh, <clears throat> not everybody's into the things that I'm into, and that's okay. Uh, it takes all kind of people to make the world go around. It's a nice mountain view. Uh, that's going to be a landmarker up here. We're approaching that here in about 300 yards. But we're still looking for game. But if I can bring a smile to somebody's face, that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm generally a pretty well happy person and I like to see other people around me happy uh, uh, well I appreciate that Danny I really do uh, I knew that was going to be a <laughs> I knew that was going to be a good video when it happened and, and uh Uh, and and the funny part about it is, you know, I'm very careful about what I say on here because I want to keep it family friendly. And I, I almost had a boo boo because it it literally did scare me to death. I I was running along there and talking, and all of a sudden, and I got these headphones on. Uh, I got these headphones on, and and. Uh, These are really good headphones. I paid quite a bit of money for these quality of hearing, uh, quality of sound, and and that thing was loud, boy, and it, it made me jump. Uh, I told my wife, I said, I probably got the best short video in the world on camera. I've got another one coming out. It's going to be pretty funny, too. So You get some things that happen on these games sometimes. It's... You're like, really? Did that just happen? <laughs> that's a beautiful view right there, guys. I mean, that's some of the scenery that they have in this game. I think I saw something up there. 
That was a shadow. So, while I'm walking up here, let's talk about uh, for just a few minutes of uh, some of the things I need to talk to y'all about. Some of the improvements they're making to the game. They're making a lot of graphical improvements to the game. You're going to start seeing uh, a lot better shadows and uh, uh, the water and things going to be a lot more crisper. Hello, Chrissy. So, the quality of the gameplay is going to improve as well. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get an Xbox very soon. I know that Catfish Regulators Aaron has one and Kelly Bullock and uh we're gonna try to get a I'm gonna try to get those guys to do a a stream a catfish stream one time of gaming. I'm gonna try to get them guys to do a one v one or a small tournament type thing, video game thing. It ain't gonna last them six hours. I, <laughs> I ain't doing that, but uh that's a nice picture right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stay right here a minute and talk to y'all a few more minutes and just kick back in this chair, recline it a little bit. And I, after I get ready to close the stream out, I'm going to take a couple photographs of this for thumbnails. It'll make a nice thumbnail. I can clear everything off the screen and I'll have a couple of scenes for thumbnails. I appreciate y'all coming in and I appreciate the time I got to spend with you today we're going to do this again on Tuesday uh, Monday we will have the fishing pond I'm going to have to see what my wife's got planned we're supposed to clean house she's going to put me to mopping and uh have to clean up, which I don't mind. My brother's coming to stay with me on the 16th through the 19th while the wife goes out of town. That ought to be interesting. Uh, me and him give each other a hard time, but it's all in love and fun. Uh, I might see if I can get him to go do a live with me. See what he thinks about that. I don't know. The boy's kind of shy. He may, <laughs> he may, he may sit up there and look froze. But we'll see. Uh, let's go support everybody tonight. And watch these good shows, Danny Stone. I hope you get to fish tonight. Uh, it's always fun to listen to you it's always you're always good for a, a laugh Danny you really are uh, <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for this week and uh, y'all got any t t today tonight I'm gonna put up some notifications on the real and virtual outdoors group page for some of these links that I always do every Thursday. And I'll post a question up there. Anybody got any ideas about what they want me to hunt on Tuesday? Reply. And I'll set up a stream. Alright. For everybody that's been a part of this one. I've enjoyed you. I'm going to see you on the fishing pond on Monday night. And if I don't see you then. I'll see you for game day on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, please do so. We have a lot of fun over here, and it's a family environment. God bless you. I hope you're well, and enjoy your evening. And we will see you next time on Real and Virtual Outdoors. That sounded kind of TV-ish, didn't it?